Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. I have been solving I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test to 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 242, number 11, I believe. Number 11. Let's take a look at it. They give you a quadratic equation y squared plus 4y minus 12 on tall equals 0. And they simply want you to compare the quantity y squared to be 30. Let's see what can we do here. Factorization is the simplest way, quickest way, if you know factorization that is. Because if you do it a uh, trial and error way, uh, you, will miss, you will miss something. You will only find one value of y and you will miss it. You will end up picking the answer as either a or b. But the answer is neither a nor b. Let's factorize it. How, how does one go about factorizing it? I'm looking for two numbers. I'm looking for two numbers so that when I multiply them, I get a product of negative 12. So the product has to be negative 12. And when I add or subtract, I get a positive 4. Can you think of two such numbers? Well, 12. Well, 12 is pretty straightforward if you, if you break, break it up. There are not too many possibilities here. It's either 2 times 6, you see 2 times 2 times 3, which is 6, 2 times 6, or 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is not going to help because 4 times 3 does equal 12, obviously, because it comes from 12. But whether you, if, you, if you add 4 and 3, you get 7. But if you subtract 4 from 3, you get either a 1 or a negative 1. We need a positive 4. So what we're dealing with here is not 4, not 4 times 3, but rather 2 times 6. And since I need a positive 4, this has to be positive, this has to be negative. So I have a positive 6 and a negative 2. A positive 6 and a negative 2. As you can see, positive 6y and a negative 2y is going to give me positive 4y. And a positive 6y times negative 2y is going to give me negative 12y squared. Let's see what we can do here. Now, I want you to look at this part. What do you find common in this, this term and this term? What I find common in these two terms is y. If you take out the y common, you get y plus 6. And now I want you to look at these two terms. What do you find common here? I find negative 2. Take out negative 2, you get y plus 6. Because plus 6 times negative 2 is going to give me negative 12. And now I want you to look at these two terms. What do you find common? I find y, y plus 6 common. If I take out y plus 6 from here, I'm left with y. And here if I take out y plus 6 common, I'm left with negative 2. So there you go. That tells me, and since the whole thing has to be 0, that tells me that either y plus 6 is equal to 0, or y minus 2 is equal to 0, or both are equal to 0. If y plus 6 is equal to 0, that implies that y must be negative 6. If y minus 2 is equal to 0, that implies that y must be positive 2. Those are two possibilities here. Those are the two possibilities. So that's what we have to contemplate. If y is negative 6, then here what we're dealing with is negative 6 squared, which of course is 36, which is greater than 3. The answer would be A. On the other hand, if y turns out to be positive 2, positive 2 squared is 4, which of course is less than 30. The answer in this case would be B. 
And since we're getting conflicting answers, since we're getting conflicting answers, the correct answer is D. And that's what it is. If you're not very good at factorizing, if you have not done too many factorizations, you either need to learn it from somebody after a higher tutor uh, and, and, and practice a few questions where you learn how to factorize things because there are usually a uh, few questions uh, which involve factorization in the exam. Or you simply have to take a guess. Just, just take a guess and uh, keep your fingers crossed. That's about it. That's what it boils down to. 41% uh, of the people who took the exam got this, this question right. About three out of five people, three-fifths of the people who took the exam, this particular exam, got this question wrong because uh, they have trouble factorizing. They, they do trial and error, and in the trial and error, what's going to happen is that you're going to find either one or the other, one value or the other, but not both. You're, not going, to, you're going to probably miss the negative value, and that's what happens. Anyway, that's, that's what it was. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring or face-to-face -face tutoring or through the internet, uh, uh, through the webcam and the skip and all that, or if you wish to get uh, solution manuals to any of these questions in the book, uh, any kind of questions in the, in, in the book there, uh, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, -E -E G-R-E.com. All right, and send me an email. Thank you.